And they teach you in school to sway you from the true nature of electricity. Oh, the chargers are not stored on plates. They're stored on the dielectric medium between the plates. When I first discovered this, I tried to use opposing thumbs and grab the dielectric material. But it shocked me, dude. Like, <laughs> it's hard to imagine being shocked by something non-conductive. I'm, I'm gonna prove it to you by constructing a high voltage capacitor. I will charge it up using this ozone generator. Well, it's like really high voltage. I cannot do this experiment um, on my workbench because um, this is pretty high voltage. Let's test it out using a wire. Oof. I'm gonna remove the plates, right? And touch the plates to each other to see if there's a spark. Then, I'm gonna put the dielectric material back in and, and short the plates again to see if there's a spark. Are you ready? Here we go! Nothing happens, no spark. No spark at all. The truth is the electric charge is stored on this piece of plastic. Now, if I were to touch this piece of plastic, my hand is gonna get shocked, okay? I have done this before. This is not a very good experience. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore the capacitor and let's see the spark, okay? Here we go. <gasps> Do you hear that? A tiny one, a tiny one. 